I see people all the time in life who are not convinced of the truth, and so they fall constantly. They just keep hitting their head on the wall. They keep not seeing things and getting sideswiped. It's like, well, I mean, when are you going to decide that, that he's right? When are you going to actually get in the boat with Jesus or get out of the boat with Jesus or whatever? Right? If you ask anything from the Lord, you are not aware of any other possibility. But what if God doesn't want to give it to me? That question is coming from immaturity and a lack of intimacy with God. I'm not saying you shouldn't ask it. I'm saying you need to grow because you will get to a point where you know God's heart, where you know before you ask if this is from him or not. You know. And when it's from him, you don't even think about it. You just put it to work. God, this needs to happen. It's time for this. I'm ready. Thank you for this. This is what faith sounds like to Jesus. Have faith in God, he says. I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, be removed and tossed into the sea, and doesn't doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Whatever you ask for in prayer, here's where the faith thing comes into play. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you have received it, and it will be yours. What does believing you've received the answer already look like? It looks like your emotions go there. It lo- doesn't look like you're preventing yourself from getting your hopes up in case God doesn't come through or in case the thing doesn't happen. You've already lost. If you don't want to get your hopes up, you already aren't playing the game. You're already out. You've failed already. Your hopes need to be way up. We should be the most vulnerable people on the planet. That's what faith does to you. It makes you vulnerable. Ugh. And a lot of us are looking for tools and back doors and other options on how we can overcome God. Okay, but what else you got? <laughs> no, I know. Believe, trust, believe, I know, whatever, I get it. What else? That is ungodly. You know what I mean? And so as a teacher, especially in spiritual matters, I have this interesting tension I got to walk where people are asking me for solutions apart from the Lord. And I can give them them. And it's sad because it'll stimulate their whatever and they'll think I'm awesome and they'll go use it and they'll get results and they feel good. But the Lord is not accomplishing what he wants in their life. And it's stealing from their intimacy with him. And they don't learn how to walk with him. And guess what? They come back with the same question two weeks later. Okay, now what else? This, that thing didn't work anymore. Now what do I do? You know what I mean? And that's sad. I don't want to empower that. We've got to stop trying to find solutions apart from trusting the Lord. We've got to start getting really good at knowing what it looks like to trust the Lord. Because it looks like all kinds of things, right? The maturity that matters is getting nice and experienced on what it looks like to walk with him in that place. 